Okay, I just started up the BMW with uh, the no working air conditioning. We have a high side going up. It's um, 76 degrees outside. I hear a fan coming on, but I still see the high side going up. It's only 76 degrees. There should be no 300 PSI, and here we go. We're gonna get towards the cutoff. So we are not getting any coolant flow from the heat exchanger. Let me shut it off. Okay. And that's what I told him I probably was. So, this, and I'm really sorry I can't show you guys on this one because they have it all together. You're gonna have to Google it, Google it and look up on this BMW, uh, was it 425i? And right, can you see my thumb? I'm gonna try to keep my thumb right over it. Okay, right now you can't see it, and I don't have my light on. I'm really sorry, guys, but I'm not retaking this because I this is this car is running me behind time. It's at the end of the day, and I have two more shops to get to. This is gonna go to BMW. Now this is part two. I already made the part one on this car. And this is it already went on the scanner to one of those companies that cater to body shops of doing scanning uh, they showed me the paperwork and and I told them before once they they didn't even tell me this was I thought I was doing a recovery or a recharge or something that they pulled it off and then I told you in video number one I got the spray of the refrigerant up through my vacuum pump and everything like that because it was full then I got the rest of the story after the fact so I told him, what about your ambient air temperature sensor? Was it in a collision and some wiring harness had to be replaced? And they told me yes. And so they had a, what, invalid, I'm not sure on the BMWs, but so this was before uh, repairs. And what was their other one to do with the air conditioning? Air conditioning system shut down due to excessive pressure and that was what i was coming to right here it's still holding 300 psi uh, that was that so now that we know we have a liquid plate heat exchanger down here that has the expansion valve on it and it has the receiver dryer all in one big module you have to get coolant flow through the coolant from one of these tanks they also had to drain and refill one of these tanks from the accident and they had because they had to take everything apart coolant has to run and get cooled off because heat is being added to it and if you see right down there those aluminum lines right there that's from the air conditioning and then coming down into that module I'm talking about I'm really sorry I can't show you a picture or a diagram or up close because it's put together now but if you look back in one of my other videos going back about a month or two ago I have an open up view where I was taking one apart and I was doing a recovery and all this is off. The bumper is off the front and I could show you everything. And I think it's called uh, a car air conditioning, no condenser. Uh, look for that video and then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So without a coolant flow through the liquid plate heat exchanger that has liquid diacol coolant going in one direction, then it has a flow of cooled um, hot, uh, the discharge from the compressor is going through the other way. If it has no flow with the liquid water coolant, then you cannot remove the heat and it'll just get hotter and hotter and then your discharge gas pressure will go higher and higher. So they need to check their wiring, a sensor not kicking on something or the water pump. What is telling the water pump not to run? This is what we're gonna go through. I start at a two hour minimum for excess of $500 just for me to look at it if it gets into electrical and I'm too busy with recharges to do anything just like the last guy and uh, so now the guys online who ran the scans can't figure it out of course because there was wiring damage so you got to go back in and look at what's wrong was a from a hit was a fuse blown? Is it just a safety that shuts down the system and it just has to be reset to get the water pump to come back on again? What is the problem? See if I get an update and we'll go from there. And This has been happening to a lot of shops and especially with electric vehicles and brake problems and ABS sensors and everything. 
and like I said before the shops that aren't going to be around in 10 years are the shops who don't have guys who could do this work and if the owners can't do this work and the owners can't train their guys to do this work and they won't pay for the training for this this is why we're going to see another one-third of all our shops close up in the next 10 years they will be history bar none no ifs and or buts about it and they can whine and cry and say woe is me in this industry you either lead follow or get out of the way if you want to be a dinosaur and become a uh, fossil then cry and whine about it if you want to do something about it you're going to be paying some money and you're going to be charging some money and for you guys who are young coming into this if you don't get into electronics and scanning and get into being able to follow a trouble tree really well and get into electrical and testing and low voltage testing you have to know digital you have to learn the cam systems really badly. you have to learn the communication systems on these cars you young guys if you don't know it you'll be the guys making under a hundred grand a year for you guys who know it right now if you aren't making a minimum of 130 150 180 grand look for somewhere else to go work or open up your own place because if you're already at that level and you're not making that in a big metropolis city or something like that you're working for the wrong place that's it make your change change your life get educated don't get educated get out of this game simple see you guys oh i'll start this up for you one more time let's start it up show you again and you can't run a uh a water hose over the condenser and cool it down to get the pressure because it's no condenser with refrigerant in it. It's liquid coolant and it's not pumping. So you can squirt down the condenser all you want. What you think is a condenser is just a liquid plate heat exchanger and nothing will happen. And there we're going, we're climbing up towards the 400 again. And let me shut it down. Okay guys, so this is happening, starting to happen weekly and it went from monthly and now it's going weekly and today was two cars in one day that shops can't fix the problem so this is gonna be going to the dealer and i gotta get off to my next job <laughs>